Hi everybody, this is Chris Kessler and I'm going to show you how to use the uh, Science Escapes Digital Locks. So you probably uh, have purchased a Science Escapes product and you want to use the digital locks and this, this video is gonna show you how to do that. So you're gonna take the link that I've provided for you in the, uh, in the document and you're going to paste that into your browser and you're gonna be prompted to copy my Google form. So in this case, we're, we're looking at the Adams escape room digital lock. So it's gonna prompt you to copy and you're gonna make a copy and put it on your own Google Drive. So you'll click make a copy here. Google is smart enough to know that uh, it's gonna retitle this. So you can title this whatever you want, but it's gonna title it copy of, and then whatever my original title is. So the the document that's in front of you is a, a the editable google form that you're going to be giving to um, your students now because the science escapes are modular meaning that you can um, do whatever puzzles you want in whatever order you want and you can even eliminate puzzles um, each classroom is going to be unique and different. So what I've done is I've created a document here or a Google form that has the all of the puzzles included in it. So in this particular one, it's got eight total puzzles. And, uh, and then I'll finally uh, like a you did it screen at the end. So if you want to edit this and edit your own answers because you have something unique that you wanted to do, um, you can do that right within here. So let me look at, I think it was this puzzle and you're going to be, you're going to be, whoops, you're going to be doing your own uh, code here. So actually let's, let's look at this one. So if you wanted to edit your own code, you'll come down to the answer choice here and you can enter your own code here. So, it, you know, in case the, your codes are going to be different or you want to make it different for each group or, or whatever, however you want to do it, um, you can edit that there. Now, if you want to eliminate a puzzle altogether, like let's say you decided you, you don't have enough time to do puzzle number, so this would be one, two, and three, you didn't want to do this puzzle, you can come up here and delete this entire section. So what I'll do is I'll delete this section and that was that was done and this other section moved up here so um, you can add your own images in here and I've I've taken care of that for you and and you probably don't need to do that but you can add your own images in you can change up the questions you can change the order um, of, of how these puzzles are going to are going to you know um, be played out in your classroom and then when you're ready to to save your responses or, or actually go out to the live form, you'll just click on this little icon up here, this preview. And this is gonna be the form that your students are gonna get. This is gonna be your lock, um, your digital locks. And so they're gonna go ahead and start entering the locks here. Uh, and let me pull up the document because I don't have the locks memorized. So the 5425 is the first one. So if they enter anything other than that, if they enter this, it's going to tell them it's still locked. Keep trying. But once they enter the correct lock, 5425, it unlocks and they can click next and go to, and it gives them a little, uh, a little a, um, dopamine boost here <laughs> like by telling them, nice job, you're one step closer. And then you go into the next puzzle and they enter the code that way. So when you're ready to share this document, with your students, um, you'll click on preview, you'll copy this, and you can give that to your students. Now what I would suggest is taking this link and shortening it using like a, a goo.gl or, or bit.ly and shortening so your students aren't having to type this. But if you're on Google Classroom, um, you know, you could just provide the link to them directly that way. So if you're, if you're feeling a, a little more advanced, you wanna use these digital locks, this is a great way to, um, you know, just avoid the, the pencil and paper and the students can do that right, um, you know, from their computers or their, or their devices and uh, 
still have that really great escape room experience because they're actually entering a lock into something and seeing something unlock, even though it's a digital screen. So hopefully that helps and uh, look forward to hearing some feedback.